Roman Architecture by Catherine B. Romans copied Greeks in a lot of architecture. Romans used Greek styles. They asked Greek architects and craftsmen to help build their city, but soon Romans were able to copy and build Greek styles on their own. They built their buildings mainly to be practical, but the buildings were, and still are, beautiful in many ways. When they found out about concrete, they were able to build bigger, stronger buildings. One of the buildings that Romans copied from Greeks were the temples. Most Greek temples were built in open spaces so that people could see all sides. However, Roman temples were usually built in the center of town, with tall buildings surrounding them so that people could only see the front of the temple. Temples were raised up from the ground with high steps leading to the top. That made it look more impressive. Arches. Before Romans, almost all of the buildings were built with columns and walls with beams of wood or stone on top. The largest known roof span built in that way was 25 feet. The Romans used those methods for buildings like the Maison Carrie, but they did develop the arch and the vault. Both of them had been used earlier by the Etruscans. The arch made it possible for buildings to span greater distances. Vaults and domes. Romans realized that if they put a line of arches side by side, they could make a tunnel vault to enclose large areas. But that way, hardly any light could get in the building. After a while, architects developed cross vaulting by overlapping two tunnel vaults at right angles to another. The groin vault was first used at the bath in Rome. A later development of the arch was the dome. The dome was made by crossing a bunch of arches over each other to enclose a circular area. The Pantheon was the largest dome in the world until 1436 when people built the Florence Cathedral. It was a temple to worship all of the gods of ancient Rome. Now it is over 10,000 years old. <laughs>